paint has been coming off. So I'm actually just tempted to run a bead across here and across here. I don't like to say across. Across here and across here. And uh, that might just solidify. Boy, that, that's almost ready to break, you know. So I'm just going to get the paint off this and we'll go to plan B. Thank you. Alright guys, this is my plan. I'll go behind and show you. This is a piece of 332nd welding rod. My plan is to weld that onto there. You can see the weakness there and there, right? You can, you can even... I'm sure you can. Yes, you can. So I'm going to just tack it here and then bend it even better so that it's touching all the way around and then weld down either side of that double with my flux core. Yes, I have to weld with my glasses on. So this this is this weld is uglier than a mud fence. I want you to know that, right? So there it is. There's the hole for the cable right there. I just added some depth on top and I added some depth on the bottom. Here is a uh, one that's more sturdy. It's the same idea. We'll see. I had to drill that hole out, so that means there was some weld goober inside, too. So now, my dear wife is mowing the lawn while I'm doing this. I'm feeling guilty. I'm just going to spray some black paint on this and stick it on the lawnmower. There we go. It's a lawnmower. Okay, here's our little friend again. Precision. <laughs> but it doesn't even have adjustable wheels. It's a, it's a, uh, what do you call that? An entry level mower. And uh, I got it running now. Uh, I just cleaned the carburetor on it. Maybe I should just give that a little, a little tiny test so I can burn my arm on the muffler. Good enough for now. Okay, let's get a jack. Set it up on a on a pedestal. I really put these mowers on a pedestal. First we gotta get that bolt off of there. What size is that? Looks like a, is that possibly a 3 8 No way. It's a 7 16 not a set, it's probably a 10. A modern mower, right? Yeah, that's a, well. It's smaller than a 10. It's going to be an 8. Now these. Well, maybe I'm screwing up here. Uh, metric. Wow. Okay. So 3 8 then. Yep. Ooh, that's going to work. Okay. So now we need a uh, tool and a tree eights socket day. I'll undo this bolt. Nice and easy, but now is the hard part. We got to transfer the spring from this guy, which which is all cooked and bent from the muffler right here. It's cooked and bent from the muffler onto this pretty little guy that's not cooked and bent from the muffler. But we'll use this bolt to attach said unit. Watch your fingers, Bruce. Got to make sure that this part is okay. Oh, that's too bad. See that?
right there it's broken. Maybe I can do a plastic solder on that. Maybe, baby. Hmm. I know my friend Wayne is into plastic soldering. So let's use our optimism. And we're going to get this out of here. Good. That's nice. I'm going to take the spring out too. I didn't realize when I kept this other one that these uh, arms would have to be soldered or repaired or something. But that's all right. We're going to do it. I'm not going to solder these guys in there. Or heat this up and bend it back. One of two. Okay, we'll turn you off in a bit when I come back. Alright, while that's happening, while that's uh, soldering arms warming up, we're going to change this wheel. <laughs> Did the old nut stay in there, or is it just threaded? I think it's just threaded. Well, that's crazy. Come on, Bruce. Let's get a little bit of oil. I'm going to oil the wheel while we're at it, huh? So for a low end mower, look at this. So we've got actual threads, I think, in each hole. One, two, three, four. And we're using that third hole. And one, two, yeah, we're using the third hole. Weird. Weird enough. <clears throat> Possibly one of the easier wheel changes I've had. Forward. Sound the same as this one? Yep. Well, that's really cool. Let's just oil this one while we're at it. Now, this blade is awful. Uh, is my soldering iron hot enough to melt plastic yet? Yep. Okay, let's go I put our attention back to the Plastic guard thing. Okay, Wayne, I'm gonna try and weld this plastic together. I might use tie wraps, you know. They make good, uh, a good quality tie wrap anyway. Not a crappy quality tie wrap. I don't care what color it is. Okay, where am I? These ones are really good quality tie wraps right here. No, nope, not thick enough. So these are my welding rods, I guess. <laughs> Where did that little piece go? Right there. Can you see any of this? A little bit, eh? Oh, 
Let's keep going. I don't know. I think it's going to break on me. I'm new at this. I've done it a couple of times on kids' toys. I turn this around. I'm using my right hand. I better make sure one thing. Uh, yes, it goes on the outside, eh? Okay. Don't make it too wide, Bruce. Oh. Lost my plastic already. Here, let's try the other one. If it works, it's going to be a miracle. Okay, so I'm trying to show you, but I'm left-handed. Right there. And there. I'm going to get some water, just to bring the temperature down. It's a little soapy water, but that's alright. Blow the water off. Okay, now let's see what we've accomplished here. Well, we got something started, so let's now use our splicer. on the inside, I think. I didn't realize the uh, little holes were broken, eh? Well, they're both flexible. It's ugly. Okay, I'm going to put one on the other side just so I can. Smooth it off. A little less hot on the fingers if you use a pair of pliers. Come on. Okay, let's just wipe off our little solder iron so we don't lose the tin. We'll leave that plugged in back over here. And now we get to see if we get to put the spring in. Okay, our pin. Are you guys looking at this? Yeah, you're not doing too bad.
can I use here? I guess a proper, there's nothing wrong with using the proper tool, right? This one. This little mower's getting a lot of, getting a lot of attention, eh? Is that going to hold? Really? I think it's going to... Down! Look at that! Now we just have to put it back on the lawn. <laughs> it's a miracle! Why not? Okay, so now what's next? I guess we're going to sharpen that blade while we got this thing tilted, right? Unplug the spark plug. And is that a 9 16 It's a 5 8 Can you believe that, eh? Little tiny lawnmower like this being a 5 8. No way. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Only just one side. I almost wonder if I if I have access to the uh, whoops excuse me I almost wonder if uh, I had access to the flywheel key if I should have a little look at that eh? I don't know I got a stink on it see you later I'll be back in a bit all right this is the best I could do on the blade this side's not bad it's got one little nick in it there but this side was the side that had all of the marks and I, what I did was I peened them back with my ball peen hammer and then sharpened the blade and of course it's blunt not super sharp. I'm just going to check the balance on it now and uh, we'll be able to put it on. Alright so this is the 10 times trick. One. spark plug yet or torch it'll be a torch because it's a Chinese mower one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there we go it's a torch that's for you Mick mix mowers from Britain just Google Mix Mowers and you'll find him. He's a, he's a great guy, funny, funny, all, all, very, very good lawnmower mechanic. Better than me. I just fake it. All right. We need to find a BPR6ES and stick it in there. Or just clean this one and see how it goes. Just until we get things running good anyway. I gotta crawl up on a ladder to get the, the torch or the BPR 60S. There are 28,000. 28, uh, gap. Very close. And, uh, I think this stuff, this carb cleaner is just acetone in a bottle. So let's just do this over that. Uh, 
Get a scratcher. Shoot it with a little air. Stick her back in. Don't tell Nick, I'm reusing a torch just for now. The whole lawnmower is not even worth $30 right now until it's running, right? Now, let's see. We got a new wheel. We got a new clapper. Are you, uh, you guys, watch? you're not watching this part. I'm working with the vehicles in the garage. It's a little more crowded, eh? Okay. All right, because the blade was so badly banged up, I thought I would just grab my flashlight and my camera and my air wrench and have a look at the flywheel key. And it actually looks okay. Right there. That's good. Yeah, it's perfect. Good. Okay, oil change. Alright, now we just gotta put some oil in it. That was easy. There wasn't as much oil in there as I thought. I haven't had a lot to do with these, eh? I don't know if you just dip it in or if you screw it all the way in. I have no idea. So I just put in 500. And it's, I would say it's full. One more crank. It takes a while to warm up. Anyway, I'm going to wipe it down and say goodnight to it. Thanks for watching this one, guys. We're almost there. I'm just going to clean it up and then we'll see where we're at.
sometimes it doesn't go well, but I'm very happy with how that runs smooth. There aren't enough O's in smooth to describe that. So this one, I'm going to sell it. I'm not attached to it much, but I kind of like it. It's a cute little more. And did you guys see the gouges in the blade? I hope you did. All right. So it has a bit of a vibration, so I'm just going to check. I know I'm crazy, but I'm taking, I'm starting to take a little more time, even though I'm swamped with engines right now. I'm going to take this blade off and just check it for balance, because it really had a chop in it. Eh? Okay, let's tip it. Hope she doesn't drip that much. I'm going to just check this little uh, blade for balance. It almost like this thing was pushed out into the back 40 and left out there, you know? It's, nine, it's a 5 8 I want a huge blade for such a small engine. Now, my friends, the experts, is this an AYP? Or is this an MTD? I call it an MTD. But with the way these handlebars shove into the frame like that, some guys have been corrected and they say, no, it's an AYP. Oh yeah, this is the one where I took the ball peen hammer to it. I'll be right back. Okay, that's dead eye on there. So let's put it back on the mower. I just want to see if it, uh, it vibrates still. Man, I'm uh, let's see, how can I do this? One step at a time, that's how I do it. Just take it up with this. I'm going to get my big ratchet. Let's just take it up. Bruce tape. Not crazy tape. Okay? Spark plug. I don't like doing that on these cheap models because you can gradually wear that boot out. I'm just tightening the blade up now, like tight, tight, but not tight. And I'm going to check for a. No, it's perfect. Just going to cut some of that string off, string off that shaft. Plugs and done, remember. So this is how I check for uh, either a bent crankshaft or a bent blade. I take kind of a mental note as to where it is right there. And I turn it 180 degrees. And it's at the same spot. And Somebody ran into some line of some kind. I'm going to just start it up and see if that helped at all. I doubt it. I didn't hardly take any weight off that blade at all. Are you with me? Okay. Let's not get serious. ready for sale. Over and out. Thanks for watching. 